In this week's episode of Working With Todoist, I've got a really neat Gmail trick. Hello and welcome to episode 113, I think, of Working With Todoist. And in this week's episode, I want to show you a really cool trick that I have been using for a few months now uh, with my Gmail account and Todoist. Now I should explain that my domain name, carlpoline.com, is linked to, my G linked to a Gmail account. And so I've been able to set up uh, any starred email that comes into my carpaline.com email address will come into my Todoist account into my inbox. And so this means that I am alerted directly through Todoist whenever an email, an important email comes through. So for example, any notification that I get, uh, any notification about a message that I get on this, a comment I get on this channel, um, immediately is starred in my email account through Gmail, and therefore I'm notified in Todoist. Now the reason I do this is because I don't like to sit in my email inbox on a day-to-day -day basis. In fact, really, I very rarely look at my inbox at all because I just process email when I have time, when I'm on the, on the bus or when I'm on a subway or something like that. So I like to see uh, the comments that come onto my YouTube channel in my Todoist where I spend a lot more time or where that window is open on my computer when I'm working on it. So I can actually see whenever I get a, an important email. Now, of course, not everyone out there watching this episode has a YouTube channel. You can actually set up a rule in Gmail that any email that comes from a certain account will immediately be starred and therefore it will come into your uh, Todoist account. So this is really cool if you've got some very important clients or even indeed if you, you, your boss tends to use email for messaging you this will automatically drop into your inbox. So it's a little bit more complex trying to explain it without showing you. So I'm going to go into Todoist and to my Gmail account to show you how to set this up. But I should point out that you will need an if this then that IFTTT account in order to set this up. So just keep that in mind and we'll go into Todoist now and Gmail and have a look. Okay. So here we are in my inbox and once again I should point out that I haven't processed this yet today so it's looking quite big. Uh, if we're going to, I've got 14 which is actually very very high for me. But what I want to show you is what I've got from my Gmail account and these are here. So I've got start email from new activity on your video working with start email. Now these come in to tell me that I now have a comment on one of my videos in YouTube. And this is really, really useful, particularly at the end of the day, because I'm trying to reply to comments as I'm running through the day. And some days I get, some days when I'm doing it, I get interrupted when I am replying to a comment and have to come back to it later. Now the only, the only caveat I have with this is that you do need to click off when you've actually done one but you can do that later anyway you don't have to do that immediately so as you can see i picked up three today three comments on my uh, youtube channel which i will reply to at some point throughout today so to set this up what we need to do is to go into your gmail account now uh, here's my gmail account and what we need to do is to go into settings so i go into settings here and you can set it up with your filters and blocked addresses. So here I got filters and it says create a new filter. So I can create a new filter from here. So I'm going to have to put something in now. So I'll put uh, uh, Carl, uh, this is my business company address. So Carl at fancorp.com. Create filter with this search. So it's down at the bottom here. Move over to the next section. And then when message arrives that matches this search, star it. So you click on that, 
and that will star. Now, that's the first part that you actually need to set up. So if I just uh, click out of that, we'll start again. So what we do is we go into settings down here. You need to go into your filters and blocked addresses. Create new filter. Then the, the filter that you want to create. Now, this doesn't have to be from somebody. It could be to somebody. It could be the subject. It could include certain words or doesn't have words, has an attachment. Whatever you want, you can set it up. Uh, so I'll just put this one in again. So we'll put Carl at Carl uh, Fancock. Create the filter with this search. The second part is to star it. That is very, very important. Now, once you've done that, and I'm not going to set it up because I don't need it. Um, once you've done that, we need to create a filter. And I think I'm better doing this in Safari because i am probably got myself signed in on Safari. So if... Uh, down here and let's go into there hopefully I'm signed in it's coming it's coming internet's a little bit slow they keep telling us that internet is very fast in Korea but as you can see it's not that fast uh, I'm actually signed in which is great and so let's have a look at my applets as they call them and I'll show you the one that I've got automatically add tasks to do is when you start an email in Gmail so if I click on this particular filter this is the filter you need to set up so I've got it turned on basically what happens is as soon as I get an email that comes into my Gmail then this will automatically come into my inbox as long as it is starred now this actually works of course if you're in your email <coughs> And go back to my email here and uh, I have an email let's say I'm going to go into all mail here and let's say this email from Greg Smith which is in my action this day I'm going to star it and basically that is all you have to do now this can take a little while for it to come through so if you're looking to deal with an email immediately I should point out that it might take you it could take a few minutes and it could take 10 minutes or whatever before it actually arrives in your inbox. So please, if it's something that's really urgent that you need to be reminded of within, say, the next five minutes, then maybe you need to deal with it immediately. But eventually this will come through. So I'm not sure it's actually come through. No, it hasn't come through yet. If I do a sync, it might come through while I'm recording this. Uh, no, it's not. But I can promise you that it does come through and in which case this actually works superbly well to keep you up to date with stuff that you need to do so remember what we have to do is we have to go into settings you have to set up your filter and i'll show you actually while we're here i'll set up that matches this so i've got from no reply at youtube.com new activity on your video do this star it so this is what i've got set up here so it's a simple I have actually put new activity on your video. It doesn't actually have to include that, but it does. If I go into the next one, star it, and that's all I have. The rest of it goes through my if this, then that, which is setting up, which you will find, by the way, if I do a search, <clears throat> so I can search Todoist on here, which is there. And if you go into Todoist, and I have covered these before, you've actually got a lot of options in here that you can use uh, for your Todoist account. As I did mention when I covered this before in an episode that you can actually use this. Uh, to, it's worth going back and checking this on a regular basis because these are updated on a, on quite frequently. So there's always some more. And actually, there is a, quite a lot now um, coming into here. So add a task to Todoist inbox for every note tagged with Todoist in Evernote. That's a cracking one. So there's a lot of stuff in here in If This Then That. And it's worth going back and checking maybe on a monthly basis. Okay, hopefully you found this episode useful. If you have any questions at all about this or any other services with Todoist, please don't hesitate to get in touch through either YouTube or my email addresses in the comments in the notes section below. You can email me directly. Thank you very much for watching this episode and I will see you in the next episode.